Well, hi guys, it's Lisa here from KP Quilting Studio. I just thought it would be kind of fun to do a little behind the scenes video of uh, this Irish chain quilt that I've been working on for my client, Michelle. It's a gorgeous quilt and um, I had a ton of fun working on this quilt. Uh, so I thought I'd just show you how I'm doing this dot to dot curl design. Um, really, really simple. Um, basically, I'm doing two rows at a time. So the design uh, in the background that I, you see right there um, has two parts. So the part I'm working on right now is the corner to corner arc. Uh, and I'm basically doing two rows at once. And that allows me to work my way across the quilt and back without having to break my thread. Uh, finding your thread path is sometimes the most challenging part of quilting a quilt um, because each block has its own specific design. If you were to quilt just the block uh, in, in its entirety, you would be ending up where you started every time you do a block and you'd have to break your thread uh, for each block. So by doing it this way, I don't have to break my thread and I can go across the quilt and back and do two entire rows in one go. So essentially uh, on that bottom row, uh, I worked my way from left to right uh, on the top row doing the, the sides and top of the top block and then the bottom of the uh, lower block. And now I'm working way, my way back uh, from right to left. So I'm doing the bottom edge of the top row and then the three edges on the bottom row, which completes both of those rows at once. So that's how we start uh, on this design. So once I get back to the other side, then I will need to break thread, roll the quilt, and then I will start doing the secondary part of the design in the first row, the top row. Okay, so now we are working on the second part of the design and we're working in the top row from left to right. So uh, this is the part of the design that incorporates the dot to dot and curls in the nine patch block and then the other larger arcs in the background block. And you'll see that the background design, the design in the background block actually goes into the nine patch. Um, so it, the design kind of incorporates both blocks together. So again, I want to work my way across the quilt and back as opposed to quilting each block individually. So I manage that by doing the lower part of the blocks across uh, well, the lower part of the nine patch and then the upper part of the background block. Uh, and then when I get to the other, now I'm at the other end of the quilt, I will work my way back, finishing each of the blocks as I go. So when I get to the nine patch block, I do that little diamond shape in the middle down to the corner and curl and then arc up and then back down, another curl. And the curls always go towards the outer edge of the block, and then that will give me a secondary pattern that you'll see. 
So I'm at the right hand side of the quilt now. I'm going to start working my way back across the quilt. So I curl again out towards the corner, arc down and back up. Another curl towards the outer corner. And then I finish that arc into the middle and now a long arc up to the middle of the nine patch of, oh, pardon me, down to the middle uh, of the nine patch below and then over to the next nine patch and then back to the corner curl out towards the outer edge down and then up then another curl you'll notice I'm stopping I'm stopping so I can practice in my head which way I want that curl to go because if the curl goes in the wrong direction, you will really see it. I mean, would I take it out? Mm, hard to say. <laughs> Depends on my mood, I suppose. But uh, it's just taking that split second to just kind of practice in your brain which way that curl needs to go. And then back up to the corner, down to the middle, curl. And that finishes that nine patch and then arc. I know I'm saying down because for me it was down, but on the camera it actually looks like I'm going up. So, um, and either way would work really. I mean, if you go across the top of the, uh, the nine patches from left to right and then come back across the bottom, that's, that would work just fine as well. Your curls would be just going in the opposite direction. Finish that block. And long arming, free motion long arming is a lot like driving. You look where you want to go. Now, right here, when I was coming across, I actually put an extra, um, I forgot what I was doing and I actually put that line in to start heading back around that nine patch. So I just broke thread and kept on going. And now I just break thread and keep on going again so that I don't, I, I, I could have just backtracked over the line that was already there, but ah, uh, it's only, it only takes a second to break thread and I would rather not have one line heavier than all the rest. That's just a little bit of OCD on my part. Um, it really wouldn't have hurt if I just backtracked over the, the line. Um, so yeah, we'll just continue on and work our way back to the other side of this quilt. And then we'll look at the border. there that is back to where I started so these pictures coming up will just give you a little look at the design completed I like it it's very simple very easy but just complicated enough that I don't get bored um, yeah and then you see there's a really pretty little secondary design in that nine patch it almost looks like a flower so I hope you found this video informative and helpful and uh, I hope you try some of those dot to dot designs and uh, just have fun with it everybody have a great day and we'll talk soon bye